And welcome to your Go Market update for today, Tuesday, the 25th of October. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to take you around what's happening in the markets today. Of course, overnight, we saw US equities follow through from Friday's rally, closing higher as the market awaits big earnings. And this was despite some weaker PMI data that came across the wires last night. Indices are testing key levels to the upside, the S&P 500, toying with 3,800, which is a very important level technically over the last few months. Uh, US futures are mildly lower in Asian trading, perhaps a little bit of caution prior to what is a massive earnings day. And we are seeing Asian indices off their highs, but still trading higher following the strong US lead. The ASX is trading between 04 to 0.6%. Uh, but to the downside, uh, as I said, since open. European equity futures are also pointing to a slightly cautious open, uh, slightly down on movement in the European futures this morning. The US dollar index is trading near neutral. Not a lot of movement in the FX world. Uh, gold is holding 1650. It was a volatile session yesterday. It did zip up to test 1675 very briefly before pulling back to 1650. And that's where it looks as though it's going to stay. At least for the meantime, oil also remains range bound underneath that $95 a barrel on the Brent crude CFD contract. Copper again pulled back from the higher levels from yesterday and is now trading around 340. And VIX has edged below that key 30 level, suggesting possibly a little bit of cautious optimism coming into the earnings reports that are due out today. Bitcoin hasn't really moved very much as it hasn't for some time. Uh, still holding that 18,600 support, trading around 19,000 this morning. On the data front today, not a lot coming out. Uh, some US housing data and consumer confidence numbers out later. But the major focus, as we suggested, is on earnings. So some of the big players today, 3M, which are a Dow component. We've got Google and Microsoft after the bell. Also, we've got General Electric, General Motors, Halliburton and Coke amongst the highlights. So a very big day in the earnings calendar today and could dictate sentiment for the next couple of weeks. There'll be inferences made depending on how some of these numbers come across about how the rest of earnings season may be. So it should or could get a significant move in US equities. But remember, if you are trading the Nasdaq futures or even the S&P futures after the bell, there is an hour where those results from Google and Microsoft will come across the wire, so we may get a significant movement in that, so just be careful. A couple of charts of interest that caught our eye this morning. On the ASX, a PRU, Persist Mining Limited. You can see there we've got a key level at around about 175. We did have a, a foray above it yesterday, but closed in the bottom half of the candle, which made it unattractive. We were trading up earlier this morning but you can see like a lot of the resource stocks we've just pulled back a little bit and now below 175 one to continue to keep an eye on i think uh, on the fx front uh, we're keeping an eye on the euro yen you can see there we're pushed hard up against 147.36 if we just pop it on a daily chart you'll see how important this level has been over the last few days despite the volatility in the yen if we breach this we could see it up around about 100 pips to retest that high from three days ago so that's one certainly to keep an eye on at this stage it looks as though we're going to stay under this at least for the remainder of the asian session so we may get some movement in it once the european markets wake up trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now